time to that fry our these. I've decided to put some cheese on top because why not? Mm, yes, red plantains. This is easy peasy lemon squeezy. Is this what it's like to be a chef? Hey team, how's it going? Hi. Welcome back for another episode of Traveling from My Kitchen. Today we are going to be heading to Puerto Rico, which is very exciting. First, I just want to say hi and welcome to all of you who may be new. My name is Estrella Daniela and I am a travel vlogger who is unable to travel at the moment. So I'm trying to cook my way around the world. For those of you who are returning, thank you. Welcome back, lovely to see you as always. Today we're heading to Puerto Rico. It's an incredible island, beautiful scenery and environment and people and culture and music and life. And it's one of my favorite places to travel to. And we're gonna be making a dish called piononos, which is first off, just super fun to say. Say it once or twice, piononos. They are essentially these cups of ripe plantain that hold ground beef. That's how I'm explaining them. They seem pretty easy to make. I think that this is going to be a really straightforward recipe. This recipe I learned from a YouTuber, Evelyn Dominguez, and I'm also kind of using inspiration from another website called Immaculate Bites. I will link that information in the box below so that you can also reference these recipes and make piononos for yourself at home. How nice is that? We are going to get started by making the ground beef. Evelyn Dominguez's recipe does not include instructions on how to make her ground beef. I am actually really excited to just make it how I want. I'm not really, I'm not following any recipe for this. So this is all just gonna be fun. I am making a pound of ground beef, but I won't be using all of that. I'm gonna crush some garlic. Okay, that's the fun part where I can add whatever I want. Some turmeric. Sano, which is my favorite Costa Rican condiment. Great on meat, good on eggs, perfect in beans. What else? I have this like sofrito blend from Trader Joe's. Let's just put it in. This is all done. So my meat's all done. That was pretty easy. Just a whole bunch of, I haven't actually tasted it. Yum. <laughs> Tastes great. I'm gonna clean out my pan and then we're gonna get to work on our plantains. So what you do with these, you basically cut off the ends with your knife carefully. You kind of slice down that whole part here in the middle and you don't have to go too hard because it's already pretty soft. That allows you to just peel up the skin. So you can buy plantains really anywhere. You can buy them green or you can buy them kind of ripe or you can buy them like super, super ripe. So now what you do, and I'm not as skilled at this, but you want to slice long strips. You carefully follow the plantain and then you end up something like this. You just need to be careful though because they are kind of slippery and you can't have them too thin because you want them to be sturdy enough to, you're basically gonna form a cup out of this to hold the, it's gonna look like this and that will hold the meat. So story time, I suppose. I have been to Puerto Rico twice. The first time I went was on a family vacation when I was probably like 10 years old. That was when I discovered piononos. I think I'm cutting these a little bit thick. Whatever. The second time I went to Puerto Rico, I had just graduated from college and I decided that I needed to do something. I went on my own. Okay, let's see if I can do one of these. There we go, it wasn't too bad. So yeah, so I went after college on my own, which was pretty chill. I was only there for about five days or so and spent most of it just like hanging around San Juan, like the old part of the city, the more colonial, touristy part. Time to that, 
fry our peas. So I'm using canola oil. This is something I learned not super long ago, probably like a year or so ago. When you're frying things, you use canola oil because it has a something smoke something. What's it called? It's like a, like a high, is it a high smoke point where it can endure higher heat and it won't burn? I'm not really too sure. There's like some kind of term for this. <laughs> gonna put enough in to make this a frying experience. Let's see, what else happened in Puerto Rico? My favorite thing I did when I went to Puerto Rico as a child with my family, we went to this island or this beach called Culebra. It's, I think, an island off of Puerto Rico's main island and it is so beautiful. There's this other place, I think it may start with an M and you can do the like bioluminescent tour. So you like kayak and you see all the water like glowing because of the bioluminescence. That seems pretty legit. I also went to El Yunque, which is a rainforest. You just hike, you know, you hang in the rainforest as you do. And do three at a time. I definitely grew up eating plantains like a lot. They're one of my favorite kind of foods, especially green plantains when they're cut really thin and they're like chips. Yum. Yum, look at that golden brown. So I want these to be nice and brown. They are gonna keep cooking in the oven though, so I'm not really sure what's up with that. This one's nearly there. Yeah, you're good to go. Okay, three down, more to go. Okay, I have to say, this is pretty smooth sailing. I finished my plantains. Yeah, everything went pretty breezy. So I am going to now prep everything to get assembled. Beating an egg and also grating some cheese. So I've decided to put some cheese on top because why not? I'm using a cheese called queso para freír or queso de freír. It's really just frying cheese. So I don't know what that means, but it's a white cheese. I have to say, it feels good to make a recipe where I'm not panicking or doing something incredibly wrong. There's still more of the recipe to do. <laughs> I haven't even opened the recipe once. It feels like right up my alley. It feels like I've made this before. And that's probably because like growing up, a lot of what I ate was plantains and ground beef and rice and beans. So this just feels like something that's more familiar. I'm gonna say that that's enough for now. And then I'm going to assemble them. So amazing hack that I learned from Immaculate Bites. You just make them in a muffin tin because you have to essentially what you'll do, wrap this into a wheel. I'm gonna skewer them with a toothpick. Then you can just put them in your muffin tin, which will hold everything together. So I don't even know if I need the toothpick, but I got them, so I'm using them. You stuff it with meat, pour some of your egg over top of it, and I'm gonna add some cheese, and then you just bake it for like, what, 15 minutes? I'll have to, I'll have to look at that. But this is easy peasy lemon squeezy. Put it in here. Man, I wish I had more to say about Puerto Rico. I think mostly what I did when I was there, cause I, I mean, I was like 22 when I went, I would just read. I was just hanging out. I was reading. I would just sit at a bar and drink a pina colada out of a freaking pineapple and would just read. And I think everyone thought I was like this sad, lonely little girl. <laughs> everyone else was like partying and so festive and fun. And I was like, kicking it with a book. I liked it, I had a great time. I actually ended up getting strep throat though, which was a huge bummer. I had gone to hike in El Yunque with our family friend and was kind of feeling off, like couldn't really hear in one ear and was like feeling kind of sick, but was like, whatever, I gotta power through. I had like a high fever and was feeling awful. And then the next morning I had to drag myself to this clinic. I remember just having a wait I waited for like over an hour, I know for sure. Then met with the doctor for like three minutes max. Just enough time for him to be like, you have strep throat. Okay, and then I think this is my last one. Amazing. Is this what it's like to be a chef? This is meant to bind everything together. I actually do want to eat some of this. Mm -hmm. 
Yes, red plantains. So good. Okay, so we fill our cups about three quarters of the way. I just finished assembling my piononos. They look fantastic. It was the easiest thing I've done all day long. I'm so glad I had these like leftover pieces from when they had broken apart. Now I just get to eat them with this cheese. They are so good. If you've never made plantains for yourself, like ripe plantains, just do yourself a favor. If there's one thing you take away from this channel, one thing you try, let ripe plantains be the one thing and that will be enough. 12 more seconds. I'm done. All finished. These are them. These little beautiful joyous bundles of plantain and ground beef and cheese. Easiest thing to make, I have to say. I was even worried that like, oh, I didn't grease the pan. Didn't need it. This isn't, it's not much of a looker, this dish, but it's gonna be delicious. We're gonna give it a try. Mmm. The plantain is so nice and sweet. The meat is flavorful. The cheese is cheesy. Nice little salty addition. This I think is usually eaten with white rice. Probably can throw in some beans in the mix. I hope you enjoyed this recipe. Wow, this video is probably gonna be like five minutes long. This is amazing. Never have I ever experienced anything like this. I'm just overwhelmed with how easy this dish was and how well I made it. Well, I hope you enjoyed. I hope you feel inspired to try this Puerto Rican dish or try another Puerto Rican dish. In the meantime, comment below if you have any input on this recipe. Like this video if you enjoyed it and subscribe if you really enjoyed it. And I will see you all around. Bye.